All right, welcome again to the Hercules Tire Sun Belt Baseball Championships uh, presented by Troy University. For those in the room and asking a question, please remember to identify yourself with your name and media affiliation. For those joining us via Zoom, please remain on mute and type your questions into the chat. We are now joined by Old Dominion, led by head coach Chris Finwood. Uh, coach, would you please begin with an opening statement? Well, congratulations to Coach Eikenberry and James Madison. It was a good kind of old-fashioned ball game, pitcher's duel, and they got one big, you know, one big, one more big hit than we did. And I thought the, the you know, the story of the game was was T.R. Williams. He came in out of the pen and, you know, four and a third shutout, no hits, and uh, really did a great job, you know. And um, that was it. You know, we had a couple chances there. We had basically only two outs and lined out the left, and we didn't, you know, Kyle hit the home run. But other than that, we really didn't do much offensively. All right, we'll open up for questions. Uh, Coach, got one here from Zoom. Um, you know, very good defensive game. Um, what were your thoughts on on both your team's defensive efforts as uh, well as JMU's? Yeah, I thought both teams played good defense, you know, a um, couple double plays and a couple nice plays, especially on a wet field uh, and a field that neither of us are familiar with, you know, being first time playing here. So uh, it was a well-pitched and well-defended game, but not a whole lot of hitting. Yeah. Um... You know, to speak on that, coach. You know, you got the the solo home run um, in the third, had a little bit of momentum, um, but I mean, a, a, a relatively close pitching performance. Um, you know, I you, your arms look pretty good today. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, Sam made a couple mistakes with two strikes in particular. You know, he, he left a changeup down and in um, to Novak, and he hit the ball in the gap. That's the, that's the game. And uh, if he gets that away, where it was called, then probably a different story, but. You, know, you got to give Novak credit. He's an older, experienced hitter, and he did a really good job with it. And John Holovitz came in and was pretty dominant for us. You know, didn't give up any hits in three and two thirds. And um, so we pitched certainly good enough to win. You give up two runs in the college game, you usually do win. And uh, they just gave up one. So you got to give give their pitchers credit, and in particular, Williams, certainly. Yeah, another question here from Zoom from uh, Michael Sauls. Um, what what are your thoughts on uh, on Holabets, a relatively young guy, uh, stepping up on the mound and keeping JMU uh, pretty much in check and giving your offense an opportunity in the last few innings? Well, John's had a good year. You know, he he was our closer most of the year. He'll certainly be in the weekend rotation next year. Uh, it was his first year with us as a, as a transfer guy from Radford, and he developed as the year went along. The breaking ball got better. Um, it's a high velocity fastball, which reduces time. And, you know, he's a really good competitor. So we're excited about his future. Yeah, another one here from Zoom from uh, Mark Davis. Um, know that the game just ended and it's, it's kind of hard to, you know, look forward and encapsulate anything. Um, what, what do you think this moment, you know, does for your guys as they enter the offseason? I don't think it does anything for us. I, I don't think we played uh, very well at all the second half of the season. A lot of that had to do with some injuries, you know. Um, some of our better hitters weren't in there a lot. Some of our better guys were playing today, you know, still banged up. So injuries are part of the season, and we just had the wrong guys kind of get hurt. And some years, that's how it goes. But, you know, we didn't have good leadership on this team. It, it wasn't a team that um I was super happy with really from a makeup standpoint starting at the beginning of the year we had a lot of issues we had to deal with and you know personalities um I wasn't in favor of and so we'll we'll get to dealing with that and we'll get back yeah coach you know i um, looking forward just to speak on that you know what what do you think is in the future for old man baseball well, hopefully a lot of good things, you know um, we're used to the competition you know as 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 tough of a year as it was uh, 32 and 23 and, and 15 and 15 in the league. If that's a bad year, then I think we've set the bar okay. But, you know, we lost four extra in games in league play. And that's a big difference. And you got to win them. Um, you got to take them. You got to do the things that are necessary to win them. And that's what the good teams do. And, you know, we just weren't uh, good enough to do it this year. And for one way or or another, uh, it's it's what we were. And so, you put this one in the in the in the book, and you try to learn from it and move forward. Yeah. Final question here: um, What are your thoughts on on the league as a whole? You know, first year in the Sun Belt, getting to experience that, and um, I saw a stat. You know, pretty much everybody that made the tournament is in the top 100 in the RPI. Yeah, it's a fantastic league, and and you know, I'm very familiar with it from my time at Western Kentucky when we were in the Sun Belt, and 
Um, we had a lot of success in it. And, you know, you, you got to come to play. I mean, anybody can beat you. And, you know, that's the mark of a good league. Harry Manning from ODSports.com. You were saying you, you know, weren't happy, you know, with the team this season. What needs to change next year? What do you need to add? Yeah, I, I don't know how to comment on that right now, Harry. I mean, it's too, too early. And a lot of that's not ever going to be public. You know, we're going to, we're going to certainly evaluate the personnel and evaluate um, the makeup of the guys on the team. And, you know, we'll have to deal with the professional draft like we do every summer and, We'll just get back and, and roll our sleeves up and get to work. And, you know, it's it's going to be more and more difficult, especially for a mid-major, to figure out what your team's going to look like going into next year until August. I mean, there's so many balls in there, moving parts, and kids coming and going nowadays. So we just have to always be, you know, prepared for that and, you know, try to do the best we can to uh, put our best best team together for next year. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.